not my birthday yet. Move. Uh, of course it is. Birthday girls get to celebrate all week. Well, when you say it that way, I guess it is my birthday. Okay, say it again. Happy birthday, mama. Hey, it's my birthday. It's my birthday. Hey. <laughs> oh, I am just so thankful to see another year of life. I'm thankful that you get to see another one too, because I wouldn't know what to do without you. Well, let's start with, you have to keep going. But how? I will be so sad. That's understandable, but the world doesn't stop when someone dies. We all have a beginning date and an end. You have to promise me that no matter what, you keep going. Promise? Yes, mama. It's okay to grieve for a little while, but you have to pick yourself back up and continue doing great things until we see each other again. <laughs> uh, uh, okay, stop, stop. Now, what's up? Why were you hanging over me like a lost puppy? Oh, I made you some lunch. What, you cooked? Why and how? Well, I, I didn't want you to be hungry for your birthday. Listen, I'm going to let it slide this time because my house isn't burned down and I understand why you wanted to do something nice. However, going forward, wait until I wake up to make anything. Eat a snack until then. Capiche? Capiche. Okay, eat up. It's time to eat. I just find it very hard to believe that you made a whole meal. Just call me Chef Boris C. I, I guess it can't kill me. Wait, can this kill me? <laughs> no, Mama, just try it. I put a lot of effort in that. Okay, well, let's see. So? Did you make this yourself? I mean, I guess you had to because there's nobody else here. Mm. Yep, no box food over here. And I didn't even burn it like you do. First of all, I don't burn food. I just make sure it's well done. Yep. Um, a little too well done. You know, Coco, you may be a little chef. Really? Absolutely. This is insanely delicious. What exactly did you put in here? It's seasoned to perfection. Oh, nothing major. I just used some pickle juice. That was the first starter. You know, I had to saute it in there. And then I used those old onions that you had at the bottom of the fridge. They started growing some fuzzy stuff on it. I think it was mold, but... Smell a little bad, but they still work. Oh, and for the sweet potatoes, I used those old seasonings that you had that you said you were saving that you got back in 2016 for antiques, but I didn't want to use your new stuff. You did what? And then there was something that you threw away, but I thought that was an accident, so I just took it back out the garbage and I sprinkled it on top. So I'm sitting here eating old moldy food, expired seasonings, and something you thought I threw away by accident? Mm-hmm. That's how I got the nice spice and tang to it. It's delicious, right? I saw it on a show called Extreme Cheapskates. One of the episodes taught me how to cook on a budget. And since I didn't have any money and I wanted to surprise you, I just had to use what I could use. Mm -hmm. Throw this out. Throw this out now. Is something wrong? You didn't really eat much. Yes! Did you eat some? <laughs> Absolutely not. Why would I eat this? I was waiting on you to make dinner. Now, now, Coco, you know that's a no-no. Sometimes I get lonely, and I wish I had someone to play with. Aubrey and Rhea say I'm a baby, and they never want to play. That's fine. I don't want to play with them anyway. They are some big old meanies with big old... Hey, Coco Pops, what are you up to? Are you ready to start your day? Uh, just about. I'm just writing to express my emotions. Oh, is everything okay? Everything is fine, I guess. Mama, why did you have Arvin and Rhea a year apart and you had me so much later? Well, your dad and I needed a little break. You know, having children is fun, but it is a lot of work. We wanted to establish a few more things, and that's when we decided it was time to have our little Coco. Oh, I, I guess that makes sense. Coco, you are still just as special as Ari and Rita. I know, but they never want to play with me. They just brush me off and they tell me they're too old to do sorting things. Oh, 
oh, Coco, trust me, your sisters love you. They're just outgrowing certain things as they get older, like you will one day. Yes, I know, but if you would have had me only like a year later, I would be outgrowing certain things now too. I just wish I had another me my age, then we could play all day. Oh, that would be fun, yet wild and a lot. Oh. Let's just stick with one of you, okay? And how does this sound? I will play with you after I finish getting some work done. Okay, all day, every day? Now, Coco, you know that's impossible, but I will start setting aside playtime for me and you. Okay, Mama, I really appreciate you. You're very welcome, Coco Puffs. I'll be back shortly to check on you. Okay, Mama. How to make a twin in less than 24 hours. Oh, I hope this works. I just really wish it was two of me. If there's two of me, then we can play all day. And then, Mama Daddy have you set aside time. Abra, Kadabra, Kazabra, Kadabra. Hmm. Didn't work. <sighs> okay, one more time. Abra, Kazabra, Kadabra, Alakrabra. Was that just a real life earthquake? An earthquake in Chicago? Well, I guess that could happen. <sighs> I would ask mama to have another baby, but then if she has another baby now, then I will outgrow that baby, then I will be too old to play. <sighs> Life is just so complicated. Hey, you wanna play? Did I just say something? No, because my mouth stopped moving before, so I know that could have been me. <laughs> no, that's me down here. <gasps> You're me! And I'm you. Nice to meet you. I'm Coco, too. Your your name is Coco? No, it's Coco, too. Spelled C-O-C-O-T-W-O. -O -O. What? It worked? I made me? <laughs> I guess so. Good job. Okay, now let's play. Mama? is gonna kill me. But we have to keep you at this point, right? Mama wouldn't just let an innocent child like me just leave. Oh, well, I'm happy to hear that because I traveled a long way to get here. <laughs> You're funny, almost as funny as me. Okay, what should we play first? Oh, I know, how about we play I Spy? Uh, okay, you, you can sit right there on the floor. Oh, I'm happy you said that. My legs are killing me. Oh, I apologize. Go ahead, get comfortable, Coco, too. I spy with my little eye something that's blue and fluffy. Uh, let's see. Oh, this is a hot one. Something blue that's kind of fluffy said. Oh, oh, I got it, my blanket. Bingo. Okay, your turn. Okay, I spy with my little eye something... Uh, the black vent by the door? Wait, what? How did you do that? Was I right? Weirdly, yes. Are you in my thoughts? Pretty much, yeah. Okay, let's play a new game. Oh, okay, well, what's next? Do what Coco 2 says to do. Kind of like follow the leader. Coco, I am finished. <gasps> oh, Mama, I can explain. <laughs> no, no, Mama, don't be alarmed. This it's Coco too. Wait, how? How are there two? I, I made her so that I can have somebody to play with. What? No, no, that's not how this works. Hi, I'm Coco too. Nice to meet you. You know, you look a lot like my mama. Her name is Ava too, spelled A-V-A-T-W-O. Um, ma'am, I'm sorry, but you should probably sit down. You look really pale. Yeah, yeah, let, let me do that. Okay, now that you're here, we were actually just about to play a game, follow the leader, and I just so happened to be the leader. Oh, both of you, twitch your noses. Okay, good job. 
Next, do the cabbage patch like this. Okay, no, stop. Wait, wait, wait. So you said you're who? Shh. Now, now, now. Coco too didn't say speak. <laughs> you have to follow the rules. Okay, Coco. Now, take this scarf and tie your mama up. What? I'm not tying mama up. You better, or there will be consequences. It's, it's okay, Coco. You can do it. I'm sure Coco, too, is just playing. Okay, mama. Just put your hands out here. Okay. All right. Okay. Don't try. Alright. Okay. Good job, Coco. Now cut your mama's hair off. Oh, I see she has lost her mind. Must up! Coco too, you have 30 seconds to get on up at my house. <laughs> and if I don't? I know you're not talking to my mama like that. Yeah. Lesson learned, though. Oh, yes. You have to be careful what you wish for and be thankful for what you already have. Mm -hmm. And that is one of the biggest life lessons that you'll ever learn. Okay, so how about we play that game like I promised? Sounds like a plan. Okay, great. What do you want to play first? Now, now, Coco, you know that's a no-no. Every time we turn our heads, you're always into trouble. 